Hi, everyone. Uh, it's Manuel again, and uh, I have a unique opportunity uh, and the pleasure of introducing Alex Horton, who's the Executive Director of the International District Economic Development uh, Organization. Is it a corporation or organization? Uh, corporation. Corporation, yeah, yeah. And, um, uh, you know, Alex is doing tremendous work in the community in, in building up the International District and um, really building a more equitable and inclusive way of thinking about Albuquerque and how we embrace the economic opportunity and the, and, and, and the, the valuable resource of the international district and the people who live in it. So uh, uh, good to see you, Alex. And uh, we also have Destiny Logan uh, who comes to us with Global Ties and who has been a wonderful ally in connecting us uh, at Anderson with all sorts of different uh, um, change makers throughout the entire community and uh, throughout the world. So thank you, Destiny, also for being here. Uh, we have a unique opportunity. It's an internship to work with Alex on some several of his uh, current initiatives. Alex, if you could spend a moment just describing to potential interns what the opportunity is. Yeah, so thanks. Thank you, Dr. Montoya for having me on here. Uh, it's great to be able to uh, talk a little bit about it. Uh, we have a pretty unique opportunity to kind of come along, uh, work in a few different capacities from an executive assistant to actually meeting with businesses. Our, our organization works with startup businesses, startup Main Street businesses in the neighborhood, uh, trying to get them to start, stay and grow in the neighborhood. And uh, this opportunity is working with a plethora of businesses, but then also on the community development side, right? Seeing how these businesses actually impact the community. And so we're looking for someone to come in and help uh, as an intern, as an executive assistant to all the inner workings of the organization, right? And from, again, that's from working on a project to meeting with a client, right? And so uh, our goal is just to also sh show exposure to what the work that we're doing and uh, the many projects that we have going, but um, yeah, that's a little bit about the opportunity uh, with us that we're looking for a few interns uh, to come in and, and see what it's like. You know, we're, we have an interesting model. We're like a nonprofit social side, and then we have an, an enterprise that actually runs and generates revenue to kind of keep us sustainable. So seeing how, you know, doing good and also being able to have a profit, right, do have to go hand in hand so your organization can say, can stay sustainable. So um, learning on just that process, right? Because it took me a little while to learn and figure it out. So that's wonderful. Yeah, thanks. Destiny, did you have any questions or uh, something to add so that people could learn more about this through our discussion? Yeah, definitely. Um, so my big question is, Alex is someone who I see all over the place. I know he knows just about everyone in the city and the state um, and has probably some of the longest days of anyone I know. So Alex, I'm curious regarding like the work that you do, what, what makes you get up in the morning and like dedicate these 12, 14 hour days and just doing all this really amazing work? Like what, why do you get up in the morning? Gosh, that's a good question. You know what? Sometimes I always have to remind myself, but I think it all started when, you know, when you see someone to be able to have their dream and they actually execute their dream. It just like feels you to say, we can do that for multiple people in the area, right? And um, it really just took that one. And after that, it kind of sparked it and, and just kept me going and just seeing the, the community making their own changes, right? For someone else coming in and making those changes just gets me up every day to, to work as hard as everyone else is working to, to make it work, so. That's awesome. That's wonderful. One of the things I've learned from you just in meeting you is that you uh, you see value in 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 and add voice to voicelessness, and you see value in, in people who are ignored, and largely uh, largely uh, don't have a voice within this economic drivers that make the city go the way that it does. Uh, could you spend a, maybe a, a few seconds talking a little bit about uh, your observations about immigrants that come into the community and what they bring to the table and how how you, how you help bring that out or connect that into the economic drivers of the city. Yeah, absolutely, right? So a lot of the immigrants and refugees, you know, they come over with a skill, a trade, a service, right? And a lot of times they actually have to come and start a business, right? Because the 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 low the jobs are just not going to not going to cut it for for what they're going to need to provide for their families. And so 
you know, we want to bring that out, right? We want to show you, hey, how do you now do business here? Knowing that you already know how you come with a trade, a skill, a service that you've done uh, in your country, now you could do that here and let's just show you how to do that, right? And I'll tell you what, I mean, there's some of the most hardest working. I mean, I'll, I'll send them a message, it's like done, right? And some of my other clients, it takes me like a week to get something back from, but they're just like, this is life or death. And, and being in that same boat with them, like, I'm going to work as hard for you as you're going to work for yourself. And once when they get it, then they're just running, right? I mean, uh, here in America, you can start a business. You could be an, an immigrant, an illegal immigrant, a uh, refugee, and you can start a business. You might not be able to get the job you wanted, but you can come out here and start a business. And so, you know, that's why a lot of them come over with this mindset of, I'm going to start a business. And I'm going to make it regardless. And and then they band together. Like those communities are so ni- so so knit tighted where they might start a business and everyone's supporting it in their community. And like, we, we've learned a lot from that, right. On just this eco, just this community development work. A lot of this work is in silos. And one thing that I've learned that's been very graceful to me is how, how willing they are to share their, their services or share what they've done or, or teach someone else to do what they're doing. Right. A lot of us have a scarcity mindset where it's like, Mm -mm, I'm not, I'm not going to share this because this is my cookie and I'm keeping it right. And they're like, well, if I break this cookie in four, we each all have a piece of the cookie. Right. And so um, that's one big thing that I've learned is, you know, how willingness that they were to share their secrets and their trades to, 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 to someone else coming right over in their same position. Right. And, and that to me just keeps that bond in those communities really tight. So once when you're in there, you're kind of in with them and, and if you don't eat the food, <laughs> you're in trouble. So, that's right. yeah. <laughs> and that's what I love about the work that your your, your organization is doing. Uh, we were talking earlier about um, this word that we use in in markets and international management: liability of foreignness. And those are two words that I we, we want to rise above. We want we we don't want to see our immigrants seen as foreigners, and we don't want to see them as liabilities. And that hard work is something that you guys are doing. So this internship opportunity really puts you on the ground level of doing some really meaningful work in the community, but also building up, you know, the untapped resources of the true market that is Albuquerque, New Mexico. So um, could you say a little bit about the practicalities? How many hours per week were you looking at? Um, and um, and how, do, how do they contact you if they're interested? Yeah, absolutely. You know, we were looking at like kind of like a 15 hour uh, a week, a week position. Yeah, feel free to email. Um, you can go on to our Facebook page, International District Economic Development, and you can actually see it. Our website is ideeconomic.com, and I'll send you all of that stuff as well, just to want to learn a little bit more about uh, what we're actually doing. But, you know, we'd be looking to about 15 hours a week um, uh, there at the office, or, you know, a lot of stuff is virtual, so it's really just virtual stuff and, uh, um, and learning that way, so. Wonderful. Well, thanks, Alex. It's a pleasure to meet you. And uh, and I look forward to working with you more. And thank you, Destiny, for always being a great connector in the community. And, uh, Absolutely. Thank you, Dr. Montoya. And thank you, Destiny, for, for the connection. I really appreciate it. Awesome. Please do this. Take advantage of this, students. Thank you very much.